Hey guys, welcome back to We Watch the Movie. I'm Mike. I'm Jay, and, and I've came three yes, times already. Yes, yes, I've seen it. <laughs> I'm doing it now. He had to change his pants. <laughs> so, uh, we have just now, like minutes ago, did our uh, initial trailer reaction for the Halloween trailer. And we were talking about what we wanted to do for a breakdown. We're kind of up against it with time here because we haven't got the chance to watch this over and over again. But we thought, what better than to go through it and break it down with you guys, shot by shot. We'll see what we see. We'll probably miss some stuff. This is all live, like we're doing this right here with you guys. So. We're gonna go through the trailer slowly but surely, and we'll touch hands with it. It's good. That's fine. It's gonna feel good. You might regret it later, but it's gonna be okay. We're safe. It's like um, marriage. So ex marriage. <laughs> so here we go. But if you guys didn't watch the trailer reaction, the main thing you take away from it is it looks fucking amazing. It like, does. It's freaking one of the most dope trailers I've seen in a while. I thought love and was dead. I, I just want to point out something right here in our podcast when we were talking about how long it was going to be. I said two minutes and 50 seconds. No, you didn't. I did say you two minutes. You said two minutes and I said two minutes and 50 seconds, seconds, bitch. Seconds. You said teaser trailer. Two minutes and 44 you seconds. You also said, no, you also said Most it was going to drop on June 1st. Are wrong, as I was about to say, but <laughs> this one was right. Yes. Um, the price is wrong, bitch. Revisionist history. Uh, I love it. Here we go. So we're going to watch it. We're going to pause it constantly, see if we can spot things. We're going to do it with you guys. Uh, let's see. Here we go. I've waited for him. Oh, God damn it. Dude, when he pops out of there, I know. That. Pause it. Right there. Stop. Um, look at the megaphones. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Radio Shack before they went out of business. <laughs> We're getting real deep. I know. Is that a UFO? Look at the. Uh, it's, is Michael from the aliens? Look at the tower. Is that a real tower or is it just a setting? Do you oh, think shit, that guy orders wings when he goes to B dubs or sandwiches? Sandwiches. Okay. Poutine. He's a sandwich guy. All right, here we go. One, two, three. We're on. Now this is the the British film crew. What they wanted to do here was they wanted to go with uh, they wanted to play on the true crime angle that everybody loves so much. So they've got this British film crew coming over, and they wanted. Uh, I read about this a little bit. They want to do a documentary, and they're trying to get Laurie to actually talk to Michael since he doesn't uh -huh. talk to anybody else. Because he won't talk to shit. I also want to point out that there's an Easter egg here, as you can see the new Purge movies title Smoke Purge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's if they're gonna attempt to talk to Michael, let's like I don't know, fucking asking a genie for unlimited wishes. It just won't happen. Happen. Well, we talked about this too before um, in the Halloween 4 uh, the original script that we did. In that script, they actually go, and this was the one that didn't make it to air, where Michael ends up growing to like 12 feet tall oh and he like God. regenerates when he gets so his fingers cut off. Uh, we have a whole script review on that if you want to find it on our channel, but in that script, uh, they go, uh, a, a, I think it's a news crew, a guy that's looking to dig deep into the story because they want ratings for Halloween because uh, the town's pretty much banned Halloween like Footloose. They go there to uh, where Michael's being held at Smith's Grove. And then they get Kevin Bacon to dance in front of him. That's exactly what happens. Yeah, uh, I need a hero. Um, but it, it's it's really close to that. It's like, I don't know if they know about that or if that's just a coincidence or what, but that's what these guys do. And they're trying to antagonize Michael because I read in a way that they side with him since he only really killed three people. Yeah. They think that people make him out to be worse than he is and they <clears> want to get Lori and him to talk. So that's what's going on here in the beginning. We're here to investigate. Investigate. Kill three. Benedict Cumberbatch is a lesser oh, successful cousin. So you see the knife's there. The boots. And here's someone he's killed. Slash across right neck and shoulder. And I'm trying to think of who it was. Because if you're going... Because they only said the, th the three innocent teenagers or whatever. He's killed a lot more than that. But anyway, they're not going to go through all of them. But he killed his sister. It's the girl. It's the girl in the car. I think he didn't. Sla he he no. He, he fucking he choked her to death. He choked her, but I think he stabbed her too. So when would you die? <laughs> There's a lot going on right now, and she doesn't have hair, but she has tits and bald. Her tits are literally going off of her body right there. It's just like jaw. Look, quick shot right there of the mask. Cocaine from 78. <laughs> yeah. Cocaine in covered in coke. <laughs> Scarface. Uh, and then the shot right there of uh, little boy Michael Myers. Little boy Michael. It's extremely close to the wall. He's got some fruit. I was thinking on. about that. You know, if he's this close to the wall, he can smell the paint. But what if the paint hadn't dried? If it was a brand new, and he turned around, he had like a little dot <laughs> of fucking paint. No wonder he went crazy. He smelled paint fumes. Did you eat paint chips? He definitely doesn't have skid marks, as you can tell. Michael wiped, and then. But if you look to the left, it's kind of funny because I can't tell what that first one says. But the second line says insect bikes, and it says no. Yeah. And uh, but meet that it says long hikes, back, long hikes, backpacking. That's what he's into. That his, That's that what his... he's into. That's for his day. But it's cool that you get to see the p picture of him. And I was like, you know, I always thought that Michael, uh, you know, I think that they had one or two flashbacks in one of the sequels where it kind of showed Michael sitting and looking at a at a wall. But I never some of the deleted scenes that they didn't use, or they used for the longer TV version. You yeah. actually see him sitting in a chair, but he was blonde in that. Yeah, and I never thought he, uh, 
was that fucking close? Jesus, was he cross-eyed? There's <laughs> <laughs> the shot. That's the actual shots. He was shot by his own And there's that sexual bearded Loomis Love man it. right there. It's exactly, there. it's Loomis. I mean, it's Donald Pleasant. I would have loved to be if, like in that in that place when he's sitting there, you know, at, at the court here. He's like, you don't understand! You don't, you don't drink engine tea! <laughs> this little kid gets up to like, you know, get a piece of candy. He's like, Lonnie, get your ass away from that! This is the room of the court. Hey, you kill your mother. <laughs> Jamie. I like how the. I also like how the uh, the guy that's talking, the journalist, is like, he was shot by his own psychiatrist. He's like, you can't pay for good help these days. <laughs> There's Michael's you hands in the spot. Sh yeah, shackles. Old spot. You got these shackles on me. I'm a slave. Whatever it takes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, pause this. shot right here, man. It's okay, beautiful. now, uh, I, I noticed this uh, just a second ago. They got, like, if you'll notice that each one of these inmates, and they, this is obviously a maximum security lockdown kind of uh, psychiatric unit because you've got guards and shit, uh, criminally insane. But they've got these cinder blocks that they're each one chained to. It's weird, though, dude. Like, look, this guy's got an umbrella. It's hot out there. So he's the lead singer of the band Blind Melon. Actually, yeah. that guy's dead. This actually looks um, like the beginning of a Nine Inch Nails video. This guy over here is definitely taking a shit. Big time. <laughs> and, and this the guy over here is writing a sonnet. But Michael's in the middle. He's placed in the middle and they're all standing around and leading. Also, it was kind of like... Well, it looks like they spaced them out as far away from each other as they could because they're, they're dangerous as fuck, obviously. Yeah. yeah. And, and he's dejected. I mean, he's just wondering when are they going to build the new expansion to this wing. <laughs> If you see how Michael's placed and they're all placed around him, it's the runes. Yeah. <laughs> They've stopped it. That's the only way to stop Michael is to place concrete runes. Tetris. <laughs> Before we go any further, mm -hmm. does anyone want to get off? That, that dog. Now this is a problem. You saw the guy, oh, you can leave it there. Uh, you saw the guy jumping up in the background for joy. He had just finished his poop, like you were saying. <laughs> he was done. Uh, but he was exactly. like, fuck, why Now, what I, wanna, what I wanna know is, in, in that whole scene, why specifically did they allow him to bring the mask in there to antagonize him? Because they know that he used that mask as some kind of identity marker. I know that we're gonna go away from the whole Rob Zombie as a way of, you know, fake Loomis, as in Malcolm McDowell saying that he hides behind these masks and this was his escape, like he was somebody else when he's behind the mask. But even so, it does make some sense. If Michael Myers used that mask as a, you know, when he was doing these murders, bringing a mask into a facility like that and then letting him, you know, showing it, you got the doctor back here. Like, they're just like, okay, go ahead. I don't care. He's not going to move. Maybe. That doctor, by the way, is the character that they said was in a weird way uh, a Loomis-ish character. I can't remember if they said he was related to him or what, but it's like Sartain's, I can't think of his actual name, but that's him right there. So they mentioned before that this character would be a Loomis-ish type character in the movie, and that's that's the only time you see him, I believe, in the trailer, but that's definitely him right there. Obviously, you don't want to hold the fucking mask by its hair like that. This guy has no idea how to handle his memorabilia. And this thing's been sitting in an evidence room for 40 plus years now. So, I mean, that's where the wear and tear comes from. I wish he had talked like, what'd you do to my mask? <laughs> it looks like <laughs> that's shit. That's why his business is he's taking care of it very poorly. And you don't want to grab those masks. You gotta get some talcum powder, man. <laughs> this guy has no idea. It looks like a pumpkin in his back, too. That'd yeah. be funny. That, or a witch's hat. <laughs> How do you feel about this jackal, Aaron? He keeps pulling out different masks. <laughs> Everyone in my family, like, turns Halloween. into nutcases. That, that jackal lantern's fucked. I mean, your grandmother is Lori Strode. I like how they did the music right there, by the way. It's very uh, Jurassic Park-ish where they just touched it a little bit. But th this is the scene where they're obviously letting the, the people, the uninitiated, know like they're not brothers. No, that was just a rumor. Uh, Danny McBride had a really good point. Uh, when he was talking about this, uh, the whole, them discontinuing the whole, the fact that they're related. Uh, he was like, to me, as soon as that happened, he was like, that was one of the first things I did was I wanted that to be gone. Because to me, when I was watching the movies, as soon as I found out they're related, I was like, well, fuck, I don't have to be scared of him anymore because I'm not his fucking brother. And that, that does make good sense. And well, I always he's a psycho this, brother. If you take away the family ties, then no one is fucking safe. You know, everyone's a suspect. Well, we'll see what happens. You also saw the little boy dressed in the full skeleton outfit, which is a, a right. tie, I think, to Tommy Doyle's outfit from the original one. And now here you got Lori, and she's got her traps and shit set up. Because as you know, now she's been waiting around for him. She's kind of the town crazy at this point. Like, nobody's listening to her anymore. She's got her daughter and her granddaughter. You see the scar from the movie? That guy's got a weird hat on. That's creepy as fuck. And in the teaser trailer that they released, uh, you, she's walking up to this and she's like singing like just the two of us, like to herself. So she's kind of fucking. You imagine crazy. dating the girl and, and <clears throat> her introducing to your mom's like you. She's probably out back shooting. Like, oh, she's got a shooting range. She's walking up there like holy fuck. 
That's badass. Fucking Will Patton, man. And I'm so psyched for Will Patton, man. Like, he's such a fucking good character actor, and the fact that Halloween got him is super and, fucking And exciting. he stayed off social media. Like, you've not seen a fucking whisper from Nothing. Him. Like, I almost was worried that maybe it wasn't true he was even in the movie, but there you see him there. Yeah. That's a Remington 435. He'll shoot your eye out. So yeah. there's a kid and his dad driving. There's the bus, because they mentioned later in the trailer that he escaped because the, the bus wrecked or whatever. Yeah. So I don't know what exactly happened there. But this is a shot reminiscent, obviously, of do they just let him walk around like that? The shot where Loomis... Go on, go! Where we see Michael in, uh, escape in the original uh, movie. But I don't know when they're driving up if, if that is Michael Myers or not. Like, it could be... Certainly do not show his fucking face <clears throat> to me. Because Michael Myers, in the original one in 78, came up from behind the car, and then you heard that... <clears throat> And he jumped over and he, you know, smacked that window. It was like, roll the window down. When well, they were all jumping around being crazy to his reaction, I wonder if these guys helped him escape in some weird way. Well, I mean, you can see that the fucking thing is broke. Or maybe, you know, Michael just got pissed off and that, that one guy, like you said, had treated his mask so poorly. He was like, I gotta get revenge. Well, I wonder if Michael killed any of them on his way out. Well, no, because all the inmates, he doesn't give a shit about them. And that's, a, that, that's also going to set up the fact, see, if no one is safe, why wouldn't he kill them? Why wouldn't he kill the inmates? He maybe does. That's what I'm saying. If he know. goes, to, but his whole purpose is to get back to the town, like get back to Haddonfield for some reason. Well, what's creepy about it is that is that he he's so obsessed with killing Lori because he still clearly is because he goes back to find her. And what's creepy about that is there is no blood ties. You have no idea why he's so obsessed with killing this woman that 40 <laughs> years later he's still going to go after it. And to me, that is scarier than because he embarrassed it. Just, <laughs> I got beat by a girl. <laughs> That so, might go back. I don't think I can't, that that's Mike. I don't know if you can zoom in. He looks a lot younger than. I don't think that's Mike. Yeah. The dude in the yard was bald. Yeah. You know, he was about. I, I, mean, wonder, hair. I wonder if that was James Jude Courtney or if maybe they fucked with uh, Nick Castle's hair and used Yeah, him. I don't think it is. Or used someone completely different, but. Yeah, that's not him. He looked I love that shot, though. Oh, and that dude right there, he's from um, um, the guy standing there with her daughter and granddaughter. Mm -hmm. He's from. Um, Halt and Catch Fire, he's a really good actor too. This scene. Yep. H2O, the bathroom scene, reminds me of it. Nobody gives a shit. The gas station scene from H4, the dude laying there in his tidy whities. Right. That's gotta be a nod to H4, man. This scene, though. Like, it's not like you need to. I, the, the part is gross. Fuck! He's so bad. He's so mad. <laughs> Look, she's just taking a horrendous shit right now. That's all. That's just the, that's the image of everybody going after Taco Bell. Night. <laughs> uh, right. Yep, tacos. Uh, but the thing about the teeth and him letting it go on the floor, I don't know like how much scarier you need to be because you see your fucking giant dirty hand probably with that mechanic's butt stains all over it. Like <laughs> that's all you need to see. And you're scared enough. Then he drops the teeth. I wonder where he got those teeth and why he had them with him. I don't, That's the other thing. Well, did he just keep them in a satchel? <laughs> it's interesting that Michael would do that, but also this—I uh, this, think this is the chick from earlier in the trailer, one of the uh, uh, British uh, documentarians. Uh, I think that's her. So, so one way or another, he tracks those people down. And I wonder if that's how he gets his mask back. Because that dude had it. Was so maybe the, he goes to find that dude, he kills him, takes his fucking teeth out, and then goes after Was that her. the girl from the very beginning? I think it is. The it journalist? looks like it. I mean, I'm also, it might sure. be because she had a British accent at the very beginning. Yeah. So she survives. He's like, you've got a wife, Lori. <laughs> And then again, the wonderful shot of him putting on the yeah, mask. Just watching great. Michael put on the mask just gets my ganges in and out. It looks like it's inside. It looks like it's being shot from inside a passenger side of the car. So <laughs> it looks like a shot from Logan. <laughs> he went outside to do it. Oh, there's a death right there. Yeah, right through I don't, the back. I, I don't know if that was the guy that we saw earlier shot from Halt and Catch Fire, but it looked like it could have been. Try to stab me in the back, eh? So Michael's, in this scene, it looks like Michael's actually... Yeah, that is him, I think. Yeah. It looks like Michael's actually, like someone's, you're seeing it from their point of view, they're running from him, and Michael, it looks like he actually turns this guy towards them to be like, watch me fuck this dude yeah, up. Yeah, well, he, yeah, he's slicing his throat. Look what I can do. <laughs> yeah. So, that's what it checks, that, that, that's badass, man. Andy Matichak. I love that, dude. That. Yeah, that, the, the, the spinning of the blade, that John Wick shit. And that's a bit of a spoiler, because we see this, the guy from Halt and Catch, I'm sorry, I can't think of his name. Halt and Catch Fire several times in this. That was him again there, and I'm pretty sure that's who you see him kill. But that, dude, that nice the blade, blade, it looks, oh it's fucking, God. it's John Wick stylization that on is, a maximum level. That is, that, it, it's like, it, it's saying, I'm getting excited. He's I'm like, not just doing this because I have to. I'm I, doing it because I fucking want to. I just got my new Ginsu knives, nice, and I'm really going to show them off tonight. <laughs> I'm back in the saddle again. You know, the, everything going on, though, with the, with the kids running and her yelling, get inside or whatever. I mean, I know Halloween won, but it really feels like, you know, that's why the homage, he said he was going to play 
pay homage to as many uh, scenes or parts of the Halloween franchise as he could, that feels like Halloween 4. Because it's very much more of a festive kind of time, and you had a lot more kids running around, and they focused more on that, I think, in Halloween 4, and kids and, and all that stuff screaming in the barnyard scene. And also H2, when Ben Tramer gets hit by the truck, like, it's like... It, Everything in H2 goes to the streets, right? So, like, everything is almost like mass pandemonium. Like, yeah. Lori's out in the open with a fucking pistol screaming, everyone get inside, he's out here, before she shoots the house. I'm just going to let and you people know. people are running. It's like a, it's, it's just this small town pandemonium. Reminds me of Scream after the murder started yeah. happening. Uh, reminds me of Stephen King with the small town stuff, and it's great for having Yeah, all I know is any frazzled-haired woman with a gun yelling at you to get inside, you better get inside. I'd already be inside. I'd be watching. That oh, right there, scene. right here, dude. I want to know who that is in the that's far left. That's what I'm left. saying. Who the fuck is that? It's Dr. Loomis back. <laughs> maybe that's uh, Will Patton, like getting ready to go after him, and she's trying to scream at him to stop. Or maybe Michael's just about to kill this dude. But that is scary as fuck looking with Michael up in that corner just waiting, and he can see out. The, I mean, it looks amazing. That's it looks so awesome. well shot. Maybe that's Paul Rudd over there. He's gonna turn around and make that face of the. Camera or it's like one of those little cutouts out. from Home Alone. It was like. <laughs> 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 that's so cool though. Yeah, so it was somebody because oh, if you looked really fast, that, that shadow did turn its head. And if you guys remember the shot that they leaked um, way early on where you see Michael's silhouette, like Nick Castle tweeted this picture, and you don't get to see Michael, but you see him and you see the mirror. You remember that shot? Mm -hmm. That's exactly what that mirror was. He's looking at that mirror. So she shoots it in a second, but it's actually just him looking into the mirror. It's not right. actually him. So that's, dude, he looks so fucking good. That's amazing. And obviously, there's Will Patton. Look at the. Uh, uh, I wonder who put the pumpkin in the fucking uh, fish tank. He Maybe like, Michael got hungry. He wanted to know. He was like, these fish need some like fucking new ground. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously, you know, it's a throwback to the first one. And that's a dead body, yeah. clearly underneath. It's there. not gonna be Michael. I mean, that's gotta be Nick Castle walking. It's gotta be. I it mean, even, like even though he looks a little bigger, I don't know if that's just the camera, or the way the shadows are moving, but it looks like the way he's walking just feels like Nick Castle moving. Yeah. That, Dude, uh, that's my favorite shot that I think, is of the whole trailer. Yeah. The way he pops out from on there, he's like, fuck yeah, I'm ready to go. <laughs> yeah. It looks so cool. And that mask right there, to me, looks very very much like one of the NAG masks. It does. Like, it just has that look to the it. The Batman right? 78. Yeah, it really does. That That is reminiscent also to H2O when she grabs the axe and she's screaming for him. Yeah. But that was a more of a taunting manner. She's like, Michael, yeah. I'm going to fuck Miss Parker. Kills her ass quick. <laughs> Shove it in her taint. <laughs> That, that shot of uh, the, the dragging hand. Um, see, see them do that before. I can't remember the the movie that they did. They show the hand. That's H two when he's dragging. Um, yeah. uh, uh, oh my God, Danielle Harris across the floor. Mm. There's her one on one. You're fucked. With him. You're fucked. That's, she's going one on one with him and taking a swing at him right there. That's pretty badass. And then Michael's like, what are you doing? <laughs> what, are you serious? Shelly, stop! Don't you, are you embarrassing me in front of my family? You're gonna try to stab me with my own fucking knife? <laughs> Hello? Anybody home? This is an amazing scene. I love this, man. How can you not see his bit arm? You see his arm? <laughs> Oh Jeez. man, it looks so far, and she's dead, oh, obviously. That, I, I, I wonder if that was John Carpenter scoring that scene right there, where the the it's a it's the typical high pitch sound, but it screams, mm -hmm. where it's like ah! it could be that would be dark. Uh, I know that John Carpenter's. We all know that he's gonna have some part in the scoring of it, but uh, yeah, dude, the, uh, the whole. I mean, there's so many things about this trailer to love. I don't know anybody. That, I, I mean, I, I know there's people out there that are, or some of them aren't liking it. Uh, I don't know who I you think are. most people are. For the majority, but, I mean, there's, there's like a few people it. that are picking it apart, nitpicking, and saying, "Well, this looks like a typical slasher film. This looks very clean and easy." And this looks—I don't think so at all. I think as far as what Halloween was with H2O's bullshit and abomination of a fucking midget circus taint hole that was put on screen, I think from that to this, it's a—it's it's a masterpiece because you're taking. Michael Myers, and you're giving him his balls back, and you're giving like the fans what they want, and then you're bringing something new and different and cool as well. And I think that they could have picked a better cast and a better set of directors, and uh, you know John Carpenter himself, like being on board to bring it back and revamp it. It's everything I thought it could be and more. And and like we said, man, ninety percent of this is just him looking right. He looks. It, he looks like he moves right. Uh, the, the mask is amazing to me. I, I adore this fucking mask, yeah. man. Um, Probably maybe the best since. 
I, I gotta see it in the movie before I can really tell you, but for me, right now, I think there's a good possibility this is the second best mask in the entire franchise. Well, it's gotta overtake I, H6 for that, right? I don't know. Uh, I, H2 I, with the blood I, tears, but... H2 and H1 are the same mask, except H2 is a little bit more damaged, so it's, I would put that in its own category, but H1 is still, you know, it's, it's gotta be the best. It's H1. But H6 is so, it's still so fucking, it looks so good. I mean, you can say what you want about Halloween 6, but Halloween 6 mask was fucking dope. This one though, it's it's up, it's up there, man. Because I mean, as far as like the original look and feel of what they or the first mask, the, the Shatner mask, brought with the seventy eight Halloween, it's got those elements, but it's got certain things that make it its own character, which makes it even more special. So it's already better than five H two O H eight Halloween. I feel like we're it's already in the top three. For I feel sure. like we're in QVC trying to sell shit. <laughs> look, I mean, look at this mask though. I mean, right now, what does it make you feel inside? It makes me think of Christmas and cookies. Like, I, there's something about this that when you take it off and you put it on your mantle, all of a sudden it's good. It's a centerpiece for talking. It's crazy, dude. It really does look like one of the nag masks. I mean, it, it does just the way they got the blemishes and stuff going on. Yeah, if you guys so know what we're talking about, just type in NAG uh, Halloween mask on Google and you'll pull up all the it's, images. They're one of the masks that we used to use in our earlier reviews or, or in, our, in our earlier uh, skits with him. That was one of the NAG masks and also the one that we got from the guys who did Halloween um, Reflections. Reflections sent that one to us. That's also NAG mask. They're fucking beautiful and the guy yeah. does an amazing job. But So that's that, guys. Uh, comment down below all the shit we missed. What did you guys, yeah, what did you guys think about it? What did you pick up on it that we didn't and uh, what do you feel in your pants when you touch it? I'm right excited now, to do watch right each now. other. Uh, we love your fucking faces. If you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button because some goddamn women have been here. All day, all night, all long. Might as well jump. Jump! <laughs>